In order to teach these cooking criminals how to cook, John is focusing on one main ingredient each day. Today, it's beef. John's first dish is rare fillet of beef with Roquefort, a meal so simple even a kitchen criminal should be able to make it well. John slices a cut of the best fillet steak. Now, this is a beautiful piece of fillet steak. You know, you need a good butcher to get the best ingredients, and you're only going to get that from a proper, reputable butcher, OK? John puts the steaks to one side and makes a herb mixture to go around the steak. He crushes coriander seeds, peppercorns, juniper berries and cloves in a mortar until fine. See, all these things crushed up together form a lovely crust around the outside of the beef, so that gives you texture. Before the herbs are added, he seasons the meat and seals it in a hot pan for just one minute. Then the meat is coated with the crushed herbs. If I rub the herbs into it when it was raw, they, they would all fall off. The herb-coated steak is then put back into a hot pan. Get a nice crisp crust on it. Don't blacken the herbs too much. It takes about three or four minutes in a pan. Take it off. And then wrap it up as tight as you possibly can, just to sort of shape it. The beef is then left to rest, and he makes a tarragon vinaigrette dressing for the salad. First, he adds Dijon mustard to tarragon adds a pinch of sugar, some salt, milled black pepper and tarragon vinegar, then gradually stirs in olive oil. And what did I always say? Taste. Taste. A bit more sugar. It's only by tasting the food that you'll understand the balance and the different flavours. And that's it. Vinaigrette done. John slices the meat finely with a sharp knife. He adds a mixture of salad leaves and then crumbles Roquefort cheese around the outside. Lastly, he adds the tarragon vinaigrette. Rare fillet of beef with Roquefort. This is a basic but gorgeous salad which involves hardly any cooking. Certainly a simple enough dish for these kitchen criminals to attempt and reproduce if they were paying attention. Now, that's what I want. Come on, let's go, please. John is determined he can turn a kitchen criminal into a kitchen hero, so he's looking for people who can convince him they could be transformed into someone who will cook to a professional standard. They start by sealing their pieces of beef, and already John spotted a problem. Ex-bodybuilder Lisa's pan isn't hot enough. Turn your gas up. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Once all the red's gone off it, yeah. then put half the herbs on the board, Put the beef down on the herbs, and then the other half on top, and then roll it all in. Okay? Did you season it? Yeah, I've seasoned it. Okay, so, good. yeah. Right. Thanks, chef. Lisa is deeply competitive, but she's not used to cooking. What's that called? Tuna bait. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. However, on day one at boot camp, she made a dramatic improvement. It's delicious. Is it? Yeah. That's the nearest plate to mine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Will Lisa continue to improve and go all the way?